Will Kawhi playing, will that change this series? I don't believe so. Now, I was just told that Andre Iguodala and Zaza Pachulia are both also questionable for game three. Um, see, if you want to assume that the real Spurs are the team that we saw up 23 when Kawhi went down, and if they're just going to pick up where they left off, and then Kawhi is going to be 100%. I think that'll be the narrative. That's an awful lot of assuming that the Spurs mm -hmm. are going to go home and do that. But he's not 100% of their problems. Start with LaMarcus Aldridge and go down the road. They haven't played, or down the list, excuse me. They did not play very well by Spurs standards. Next man up Spurs, Greg Popovich standards. That's why he was so PO'd, because they basically conceded game two. So I really think they blew it by falling apart at the end of game one, conceding game two. Meanwhile, Golden State rounding into form, realizing that, look, I'm not going to be one of those people that say, oh, this series is over because there's no way they can win four out of five. Let's talk about game three. If they get game three, there's a different complexion to this series. So I'm going to say Golden State understands the sense of urgency, goes in, wins game three with a not 100% Kawhi behind a big game from Klay Thompson. 14.6 okay. points per game and 39% from the field in the playoffs. Draymond Green doesn't say anything by accident. It seems like he kind of you know, shoots off at the mouth. I think he said it as a positive reinforcement type kick in the Trying butt. Trying to like, motivate. Let's go, Clay. Play. Let's okay. get this going. Right. Um, Talking could, about him not making all the team for those that missed it. I can buy that. I also buy kind of what you said yesterday when you talked about how the Warriors and Cavs, they'll never admit this publicly. They're competing with each other. And I do. Across think, conferences. Across, yeah, across yeah, conferences. And. Let's say that your prediction comes uh, true and the Cavaliers, they take care of business uh, against the Celtics. I don't think the Warriors want to give Cleveland any edge mm -hmm. in terms of rest. They want to complete and close their series. I think there's a motivating, an underlying motiv motivation of going into the finals undefeated uh, for the Warriors. And I, I do think that even if Kawhi plays, I do think he'll be compromised. Yeah. And you know the style that the Warriors play. And it just feels like uh, the blood is in the water. Golden State smells it. I think Steve Kerr being there will be huge mm -hmm. for them. That's right. He's traveling yeah, with them, right? Because yeah. he's traveling with them, and he's been motivating them behind the scenes throughout the playoffs. Yeah. Him physically being there, I think that's just going to give them an extra kick in terms of everything that they yeah, do. Yeah, you think we learned our lesson about doubt in the Spurs, but just like with Cleveland and Boston, for me, it's just more about Golden State. San Antonio can be better, but I don't think their better is going to be good enough for the best team in basketball.